In today's video, we show you how to tie a formal day wear ascot, which is also known sometimes as day cravat. It's an item with a very vintage aesthetic, and it's particularly popular in Britain, where you can still see it worn for weddings or at royal ascot when people wear morning wear with a top hat and a proper tied ascot. Now, if you remember, we already discussed how to wear an ascot and how to tie one in the past, but that was the casual ascot. What's the difference between a formal ascot and a casual ascot? One thing that stands out immediately is the shape. A formal ascot is quite wide and has a slim band that's consistent in the middle, which is something that will be around your neck. Basically, it has the same shape on both ends. A casual ascot is similar in the shape, however, it usually has a kind of folded neckband, which is worn around the neck. The other difference is that a casual ascot is just silk and there's no interlining. On the other hand, a proper formal ascot is much stiffer because you want it to hold the shape and fold of the knot you want. Because of that, it's silk with an interlining, which makes it thicker and more robust in terms of keeping its shape. Another important distinction is that the casual ascot is worn inside of your shirt and it pops up from underneath your unbuttoned top shirt collar. And the formal day wear ascot is worn in the way you can see here right now. It's worn on the outside of the shirt and it's perfectly worn with a wing collar. Now, where can you find ascots? We offer casual ascots in our shop and we're one of the very few stores in the world that carries formal ascots. Ours are made of high quality Italian wedding silk and so it's a perfect item for a formal wedding or a day at Royal Ascot at the races. If you want to, you can keep everything in shape with a tie stick pin and I'm gonna show you how to use it later. A formal ascot is probably the most formal piece of silk neckwear that you can wear and if you pull it off the proper way, it's extremely elegant and debonair. Some people like the Victorian flair of it because it was very popular around the fin de siècle and the early days of the 20th century. So how do you tie it? Basically, there are two ways. The first one is the more popular one, mostly seen at wedding parties, and it's basically like a four in hand, just with a slight adaptation. What you can see me wearing here right now is the proper formal or Victorian way to tie an ascot. Usually it incorporates a tie stick pin, and I'll show you how to use that in the end. You pull the right side slightly longer, about three to four inches or seven and a half to 10 centimeters. Now, the right side is folded over the left side and then brought up through the hole that you just created in the back. Now, the part that you just pulled through should be in your right hand and the other part should hang straight down. Now, you take the part that just hangs down with your left hand and point it to your right. Subsequently, you take the piece in your right hand that you just pulled through and fold it over so now it points downwards. Once you're done with that, you take the point that hangs down vertically and bring it up through the loop you just created from underneath. Once you got it through the hole, you pull firmly on both ends of the formal ascot. You can adjust the knot a little bit and you can see it creates a horizontal knot with some wrinkles. Now, ideally, you wanna take the item on the left and have it point to the right and the item from the right point over to the left. Basically, the two ends cross each other. Now that you have folded over both ends in an X shape, you can tuck them into your waistcoat. Keep adjusting until you like the look. Now it's time for a tie stick pin. A tie stick pin is a simple pin that is decorative. The most traditional thing is maybe a pearl, but you can also have maybe a notch or any other kind of precious or semi-precious stone. The easiest ways to find one is at vintage shows, flea markets, or on eBay. Now you want the decorative element of your tie stick pin to be exactly in the middle when you look at it from the front and about two to three, maybe four inches below the knot. Don't have it too low and not too close to the knot. You can use the gorge of your morning coat lapel for a good indicator on where you want it to sit. What I'm wearing here right now is a proper way to do it. Don't go lower and don't go further up. If you're right-handed, hold the ascot with your left and poke through the tie stick pin through the silk. Now that you've poked it through the silk, 
carefully poke it through the middle of your shirt fly and back out to the front. That way, the pointy end of the tie stick pin is not in your skin, you won't hurt yourself, and it's on the top part of the fly. Not only is it a decorative item, but it also keeps your formal ascot in place all day, no matter if you run, dance, or celebrate because your horse just won. Now that you know how to tie a formal ascot, please check out the selection we have in our shop. You can also find all sorts of other neckwear, including bow ties, casual ascots, and neckties. In today's outfit, I'm wearing a silk top hat, which is vintage from Germany and exactly in my head shape and size. My morning coat is vintage and from Moss Bros, and the quality back then was a lot better than it is today. My pants are cashmere strap trousers in black and gray. They don't have cuffs, which is important for morning wear, and I wear them with black Balmoral boots with a black suede insert, and I spice things up a little bit with a light gray contrasting pair of boot laces from Fort Belvedere, which you can find in our shop here. My waistcoat is custom tailored for me from a bottle green velvet. It's double-breasted and it overlaps nicely and closes rather high. That way you don't see a lot of the shirt front. The shirt is a plain white cotton shirt with buttons, not with studs, and it has a detachable collar. It's important that you have a detachable wing collar or a stiff collar that is not a turn down collar. The tie stick pin I'm wearing is a simple pearl and it keeps everything in place and adds a dapper note to my outfit. My pocket square is a simple plain white pocket square with my initial from Fort Belvedere and it has hand rolled edges and you can find it in our shop here. The same is true for a boutonniere, which is a silk flower, which looks like a real one, but it won't wilt all day and it will just always look dapper. To learn more about how these little pieces of art are made, please check out this video here. The formal escort I'm wearing has a black and silver basket weave pattern and you can find it in our shop here. We also offer different patterns, all made of what is called a wedding silk, which are jacquard weaves that consists of black and silver silk and they're extremely elegant, made for formal day wear, and it's exactly what you want when you wear a morning coat. If a formal ascot is simply too much for you, and you don't want to overdo it, maybe skip the top hat, simply go with a regular necktie in the same wedding patterns as the formal ascots. And again, you can find them in our shop here. Last but not least, if you want to, you can go with a pair of unlined gloves, such as these gray ones from Fort Belvedere. Alternatively, you could go with blue or red if you want to be a little bolder. And you can find all of those online gloves in our shop here as well.